Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Today we are hiking a new summit for Sandy, RS Hill. I've done it a few times, it's off this direction, but uh, you can see we are in the pines, which is always great. We've got some wind going today. You can hear it probably up in the trees, uh, 20 mile an hour winds, so not great, but not too, too bad, I suppose. I have a new antenna mast I want to talk about when we get up on top and then it's just going to be enjoying the day and activating. So we'll take you along and uh, here's uh, Sandy. So W7 NRS, I'm excited to be out today. It's a beautiful day. Um, nice to get out uh, hiking again. So I'm excited. We'll see you at the top. Yeah. All right. On we go. A bunch of saplings or little baby trees here. It's nice to see some new stuff in the forest. Well, as you can tell, it's really windy. Look at these trees rocking back and forth with the uh, gusts of wind. Um, so it's a nice view from here, but uh, the, it sure is going to be windy on top. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Can you say something? I can't hear you because the wind should not be talking to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you guys can make out the deer going right, right along here, but there's several of them. Whole herd, I suppose. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, probably twelve, maybe thirteen. This area was burned by a forest fire a few years ago, several years ago, but you can start to see things are coming back a little bit. But yeah, it was all burned down in there. Now we're getting some little pines coming back and some brush. But that was all burned out probably 10, a year, 10 years ago or more now. You'll see along here there's a lot of deadfall we got to hop over from that fire. It's in the 50s and winds I think are above 20 miles an hour pretty strong All right, we are at the top of this what I said was not a false peak, but I guess it is <laughs> So not as much wind we're in the trees a little bit. We do have to worry about the trees though because with the winds and the fire have gone through here, there could, you know, a uh, tree could fall over. So we gotta kind of watch that. But it's been long enough since the fire went through that we're probably okay. But yeah, over here is where the peak is. Oh, it's nice with no wind right in here. So this this would be a nice place, but I don't think this is in the activation zone. So just a little bit more hike, and we're there. So I was just saying earlier about the trees falling over. Here's one right here. You can see one down over there. We got one here. Here's one that fell. This one up there. It's through all over. So like I said, we got to be careful, but I think the ones that are remaining are probably going to stay. All right, we've, we've chosen a place to set up. I have here a mast that I picked up at Hamvention and I wouldn't have gotten this if it weren't for uh, my friend Mike, K8MRD. This is a K8MRD uh, Gigaparts Explorer uh, carbon, my, carbon fiber mast. And they only had 20 at the Hamvention. I was able to get one of the 20. Uh, so I'm gonna try this, set it up, and we'll see how it goes. But it's really cool. In the top here, you pull it up, and when you pull this off, then it automatically brings out the, uh, the extension here. And uh, so we're going to try to put it over uh, Sandy Pan or in, in between this log. We don't know how it's going to go, but <laughs> we'll give it a try. All right, this is my bag with my antenna in it. Uh, I wanted to show you also, uh, sorry, I, quite, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's tuf, Tuftalan. Uh, my good friend Joshua has a, uh, was giving these away for free at Hamvention, actually at the four days in May uh, vendor night. So I'm going to try to put these on when I wrap things back up. I have a... Uh, right in here is my antenna I use all the time. It's a homebrew 
linked dipole and I'll pull that out and so you can take a look at that. We'll put that up on the mast here. So there it is. So we're gonna use different winders here. Uh, these winders is what we'll use. And uh, I'm gonna use this to kind of tie it down onto this knot over here on this log. Right okay, there. we got our antenna up. We uh, tied it here to this knot in this tree. And that antenna mast is great. Made it easy to set up. So we got uh, the uh, linked dipole going both directions here. Sandy has the uh, radio we're using. We're gonna use the FT817 again. It's my favorite radio. I use it all the time, unless I'm trying out new gear. And the BioNO 4.5 uh, amp hour battery. So I'll show you uh, my key that I'm gonna be using, my Morse code paddle here in a little bit. It's one that I've been trying several activations. This is probably my last activation where I'll be trying it and then I'll be moving on to something else and do a review on it. So. Anyway, Sandy's getting set up, and then we will get on 10 meters and see how it goes. Those summit to summit. Please repeat your call sign, summit to summit. Whiskey Alpha, Juliet Tango, Mike, you are 5656. Five, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7, November, Romeo, Sierra, calling CQ Soda. folks we're wrapping it up here we uh, operated pretty good right here's our location the antenna that uh, gigaparts sells the uh, k8mrd uh, explorer <laughs> saying that tongue-in-cheek is a great antenna mast and uh, worked out great 
Uh, today we are on uh, uh, Summit during a contest, so we had to kind of pick and choose our bands. We did 10 meters and then we did 18, uh, me well, se 17 meters, which is 18 megahertz. And uh, we got enough contacts to make it good. We're going to go on to a second Summit here now. And so we, we both got, got our uh, numbers here. What do you think? Yep, I only got six, but I only need four, so. <laughs> there you go. Hey everybody, Charlie here, Red Summit RF. We're on to our second summit. And this is Government Mountain. Sandy and I packed our lunch for this one. And I have some of the jerky that my friend Malin from the Calgary area gave me, uh, VE6 VID. Thanks Malin. That'll come in handy for lunch. It's gonna be hiking in the trees most of the time, no view. So I'll give you a few, I guess, clips of that and then we'll get on top and start working some more uh, stations in uh, probably just in the United States. DX is kind of hard to come by in the middle of the day, but I guess we'll find out. Catch you in a bit. Well, we encountered more forest fire devastation. This was not like this when I hiked it the first few times I did. It's been several years since I've been up this one. You can see the forest fire has been through here, which is sad. Well, we'll just keep walking up the ridge line. I hope we get some trees on top. It's always good to have some shade. Okay, we're nearing the top. Pretty windy up here too, but I think we'll be okay if we get on the other side of the hill here. Activation zone's not far from here. We may not go to the very top, but uh, it was really steep, a steep long climb. W7NRS checking to see if this frequency is in use. CQ, CQ, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7, November, Romeo, Sierra calling CQ Soda. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7, November, Romeo, Sierra calling CQ Soda. Alpha Kilo 5, Sierra Delta. Alpha Kilo 5, Sierra Delta, you're 5-9, five 5-9. Nine, five nine. Okay, uh, QSL, the 5-9, Sandra, you're 5-2, uh, 52, Austin, Texas, over. QSL, the 52 in Texas, thanks for the contact, 73. 73, Whiskey enjoy the zero Mike, November Alpha. Whiskey Zero Mike, November Alpha, you are 5-9, Gary, 5-9. Good afternoon, Sandra, you're 5-9, Thanks for the contact, 73. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7, November, Romeo, Sierra, calling CQ Soda. Go Summit to Summit. <laughs> summit to Summit, are you there? Kilo Tango Kilo Alpha, can you say it again? Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, you've got the uh, Europe. You're five and five. You're five and five. Five and five. My reference is Whiskey Zero Delta Stroke Bravo Bravo Zero Seven Three. Whiskey Zero Delta Stroke Bravo Bravo Zero Seven Three. QSL. QSL. I need to get your call sign again, though, please. Call sign. Call sign is Kilo Tango Zero Alpha. Kilo Tango Zero Alpha. Kilo zero. Tango Zero Alpha. Is it Zero Alpha? Kilo Tango Zero Alpha, is that correct? Roger, roger. Okay, QSL, you are 5858. Five eight. Okay, thank you, and I've got you a reference. I've got you a reference. Thank you for the summit. Summit is good luck to you, 
Thanks for the contact, 73. Whiskey 4, Golf Alpha. Whiskey 4, Golf Alpha. Whiskey 4, Golf Alpha, year 5858. Roger, you're 5-5 into North Georgia, over. QSL the 5-5 in Georgia, thanks for the contact, 73. 73. This isn't as uncomfortable as the last place. No, I thought it would be to lead up against that tree, but it's really not. 10 hertz. 10 to 109. Folks, uh, winds died down a little bit. We've had a good time here operating. Uh, Sandy got hers, I got mine. We each got at least four, so uh, that's it for us. I think we're gonna go do a drive up now. We're not gonna do a third summit uh, hiking. Uh, anyway, that's what I understand from Sandy. Is that right, Sandy? She's shot. She's on her head. So I think we'll go do Bill Williams. So I think that's where we'll end this video. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining this uh, antenna mass here. Uh, Giga parts. It's amazing. I know there'll be more soon in a few months. So I mean, I highly recommend it I, I really like it a lot. It's it's very compact very short Extends uh, to the, the height that you want has a great uh, hook on the top or a, a loop on the top and uh, So, you know had a good time here doing summits on the air. Uh, thanks to all of you guys who chase uh, Especially when it's in tough conditions. We really appreciate it WW7D is always there and I really appreciate he always does uh, works both of us and I really appreciate it. There was a time or two where uh, that really counted and I appreciate that. So all right. Okay, here we go We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye